While 70% of the top videos on YouTube are in English, the demand for non-English content continues to grow. Expanding your reach by creating content accessible to non-English speakers is one of the easiest ways to tap into this trend. Unfortunately, doing so manually is complex. YouTube's new AI dubbing feature simplifies this process by automatically generating audio tracks in multiple languages. However, there are limitations to this tool. So let's explore YouTube's AI dubbing feature and see if an alternative might better suit your needs. What is YouTube's AI dubbing? YouTube's AI dubbing is a feature that automatically translates your video's audio into different languages. When this feature is enabled, viewers can select their preferred language directly from the video settings menu. While YouTube automates the dubbing process, you can manage whether this feature is active on your account by logging in to your YouTube studio, navigating to settings, upload defaults, and then advanced settings, and check for the automatic dubbing box. If you don't see the box, it means this feature has not yet been rolled out to your account. As a new addition, YouTube is rolling this out sort of one by one to select users, but let's dive a little bit farther into how this AI dubbing works. YouTube's AI dubbing feature is automatic, but it is worth diving into the behind the scenes on how it works so you can decide fully whether it's something you want to use or not. First, the video is uploaded by the creator and YouTube's AI analyzes the video's original language to determine if it's supported for dubbing. Videos in English are translated into the other eight languages YouTube currently supports. Spanish, Portuguese, German, French, Italian, Hindi, Indonesian, and Japanese. Now, if your video is in one of those, it will be translated into English. The AI first translates it beginning with a text script. Then that translated text is converted into speech through AI-driven voice synthesis technology. However, since it's an automated process, potential issues such as incorrect translations or mismatched audio may arise. So let's explore its accuracy and voice quality. The first issue may be its accuracy. Automated processes can prioritize convenience over precision, and for some channels, this might not be a significant issue. But for technical content or promoting a complex product, this could cause some issues. The second thing to consider is the synthetic voice quality. YouTube doesn't allow users to choose their AI-generated voices, which can result in audio that lacks natural intonation. These synthetic voices might not reflect your brand's personality or tone, but here is how to use Kapwing as an alternative. Dubbing with Kapwing can be an amazing alternative. As far as accuracy goes, YouTube dubbing is known to have dubbing inaccuracies, and Kapwing is 99% accurate. For voice quality, Kapwing has studio-grade voice quality and offers over 150 different AI voices if you want to change from your original recording. And for translation, YouTube currently only dubs into eight languages, whereas Kapwing can dub into over 40 different languages. So to use these features, upload a video to Kapwing and your video will appear in the editor. Then under subtitles on the left, you will see the option to dub video. Once there, you will see several options for dubbing. First, select the original language of the video, then select the language you want to translate your video to. In advanced settings, you can even allow adjustments to video speed. This is because different languages may take different intervals of time to say the same thing, so you can let Kapwing adjust your video speed to improve the timing of the dubbing. You can even add any terms the AI might not know into the brand glossary, like your brand name or things, so it can automatically be on the same page as you. After going through your settings, you will have a button that either says dub video or dub with cloned voices, which will clone the voice or voices in the actual video for you. From there, you can edit your dub line by line by editing the text in the transcript and clicking update dubbed audio. After everything looks good, export your audio by going to the export project button in the top right hand corner, choosing your settings and clicking export again. Now, while you're choosing those settings, it is important to note that if you had the dub change the timing of your video, you're gonna have to export this as a whole nother video. But if you kept the timing the same, you can just export as a MP3, as an audio file. But once those files are done, it is time to upload your dubbed video or audio to YouTube. Head back over to your YouTube dashboard. And if you're uploading a full dubbed video, all you need to do is upload your video as normal. YouTube will automatically detect the language of your video. But if you're uploading just the audio for a video, navigate to the video itself. Eligible accounts will be able to upload a multi-language audio track. We have a full video on that, so go check that out. 
but YouTube is still rolling this feature out to users. So if you don't have it yet, don't worry. It just means that you will have to upload the full video to your account instead. Now, taking all of this into consideration, I hope you have a better understanding of the pros and cons of YouTube's new AI dubbing and alternatives in case you want more customization. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you're subscribed for more tips on how to level up your content and happy creating.